challenge and what's you know the next game next man up? Oh yeah, um, they're they're a great team. Uh, we just have to do what we do, you know. Just go to attack practice, trying to get better every day, uh, like we have been doing all year, and try to execute and uh, play with our game plan. Does seeing the way Oklahoma State was able to have success against OU's defense is that something that has you uh, excited to go and go in there and play them? Oh, I mean, I'm I'm always excited to. I think we're all always excited to go and play the next game. I mean, that's why we play the sport. It's always fun to play games. Uh, and yeah, the coaches kind of dissect the games and see what works, see what doesn't work, and uh, they come up with a game plan, and we'll just we do what they say. You had a tough game individually against Iowa State. You were able to rebound this week with a good game against Texas. How did that affect your game individually? Oh, I mean, I just had to kind of watch the film, just figure out what was going on, and uh, try to fix it. Um, coaches helped me out a lot. Coach Thompson kind of had some pointers for me. Obviously, he's good at kind of picking stuff out and helping me, helping everybody uh, kind of up their game. So, how big of an impact has he had on everybody this season? Um, and he's he just brings a like a physical mindset. I mean, it kind of he always preaches that if we go out and practice physical, play physical every day, that it'll carry over to everybody on the team. So uh, that's just kind of what we try to do as an offensive line. You guys say it's the next game up, and obviously it is the next one on the schedule. But this is a big game. I mean, you go into Oklahoma. That's kind of a hostile territory, and that's a must for you guys. You want to. Get to where you want to go, right? Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, we just, like I said, we just have to have a good week of practice this week. Um, just try to improve in all aspects of the game and uh, just go up there and play with our play our best game so far. So, have you played in Norman before? I have, yes. Sir. Talk about that. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy environment. I mean, it's fun. It's every Big 12 uh, place is fun to play. Their crowds are crazy, the student sections are loud. So, it'll be fun. Excited. I think the average differential has been like four points the last four meetings with them. Uh, just talk about how close you guys are neck and neck as far as being one of the powers of this conference. Uh, I mean, we don't really, we try not to really think about that. We try to worry about ourselves. Uh, and I mean, like I said, the coaches just want us to go out and practice hard every day, try to be the best team we can be, live up to our potential. So we have to just attack practice every day and try to get better. Kenny hasn't thrown a touchdown pass in two weeks. How do you feel about the state of the passing game in your offense? Uh, I mean, I know they're working. They have Coach cumby has got everybody. Uh, he's got stuff dialed up, and we're practicing hard. I mean, we just it'll it'll happen. We just gotta get the connections down. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. So, defensively, what's the biggest thing you have to look for, look for when dealing with uh, Oklahoma's defensive line? Uh, I mean, we just. We kind of approach every every game the same. We just look at how they play, uh, how they line up to different formations and stuff, and how, what we can do to hopefully get past them and be successful. National TV audience this week. Um, how do you, I mean, you kind of well, I, I, you, I know you got to go out and play the game, but at the same time you are on national TV. That that make that changes it up a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, I mean a little bit, but really once. Kickoff happens. We don't really think about that, honestly. Um, it's cool to have the whole family be able to watch everybody who can't come. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's cool. It's awesome to be on the in the position we're in, but we just have to go execute. Well, just talk about you. You guys have earned that right to be on national TV. Can you just elaborate a little bit on the fact that you just didn't have to, you know, they didn't have to choose their games just because there were no other games. But you guys have, have earned that. Have earned that. Haven't you? Can you right. Talk about uh, that? I think that all started in January, honestly. We um, we kind of came together as a group and had a plan that we were going to – we needed to be a lot better. We needed to be a lot better team this year and um, just attack the off season and try to get better every day. And I think it's – I mean, it's been working. We just have to keep improving. Austin, how much are you guys watching the college football playoff rankings? Uh, I mean, we see it on Tuesdays when it comes out. But honestly, that – we want to be talked about after – all the regular season's over. So we just have to execute and win these next three games. So. Is there anybody you would point out on the offense that has performed? Uh, like, is there anybody specifically you would point out that's performed well in recent weeks that's, that's caught your eye? Uh, I mean, just everybody's really been doing their job, you know? I mean, we practice hard. We make sure everybody has reps. Uh, running back's been running great. Kenny's been 
leading the offense well, running it well, and receivers have been doing their job, blocking, catching football. So that's all you can really ask for. How important is establishing the run and winning the time of possession against Oklahoma with the kind of offense that they have on the other sideline? Um, I mean, we, we're always trying to, every time we run the ball, we want to get positive yards, just getting uh, third and short, third and medium situation, just so we can have success on third down. So that's really, I, mean, I think that's important when trying to be good as an offense is to get into those third and short situations and stay out of the third and long. So that's how you do it, run the ball. Any additional questions? Two number, two top, two teams in the top ten. And knowing that if you come out of this victorious, I mean that's that's, that's a good thing. And obviously, flip side of that coin, if not, then you you got a lot more work to do in trying to work your way back up. I mean, it's, it's got to play a little bit of uh, give you a little bit more incentive, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, we just we know that we need to win these next three games, and we're gonna we're treating November like a four game season. We we're successful this last weekend. We have to attack the next three weeks, but it starts with Oklahoma. So we have to have a good week of practice starting today and um, just try to clean everything up and play our play a good game.